Okay, so I'm gonna go step by step here. I have my wax patterns done. So there's my three pieces. I went ahead and made a big sprue as well so that I could get um, all of that cast in our first go. And I grabbed the wax clean. This is um, stored in the flammables cabinet. Um, it has a big note on it that says use this as the last step only um, because it really is pretty aggressive. So you only want a little bit of it, but that is the best way to get off any of the um, little fine fibers that are left behind on the wax. Um, you see that I already have mine sprued. It just means I've got to be really, really careful with holding it because I don't want to knock it off. So I'm going to wax clean all of these. This will, you do want to make sure that you let this dry, especially if you're putting on your sprues after using the wax clean because it is, it's, it leaves kind of a greasy film if it's wet at all. So I'll just wax clean each of those things and I just used a little piece of cotton. Um, this step is not necessary if you were able to get it smooth enough with your jeans and then you can also see that I just kind of barely did it on my main patterns that I've been working on because I did so much of the finishing with sandpaper and with jeans. Okay, so while that is drying, I went ahead and I got some flasks and these are going to be for my patterns to fit. So there's one of them. I want to make sure that my pattern fits all the way in and I need a half inch of space to the top. So this, this one down here might be a little bit close. I might cut that off um, depending on whether it fits or not. And I have another one for these little guys. So, okay, so next we're gonna weigh the patterns. So I just turned on over here and then you see it counting down. pulled up my uh, cell phone because I usually put my weight directly in my cell phone so that I always have it. Um, so I have this pattern of three. I'm going to do that one first. I'm going to go ahead and cast these in sterling silver. If you are buying silver, especially from this studio, but um, pretty much period, you're going to be using troy ounces. So in the unit section over here, I'm going to switch to what says OZT, which is troy ounces, and I'll go ahead and weigh it. And so this one is 0 0.05 troy ounces. And in my notes, I'm still going to put troy ounces so that um, just in case if I forget how I weighed it. Uh, and then in this one, maybe I'm going to use bronze. So you'll also see WDT on here. That's penny weights. And that's also uh, ways that silver and gold are um, uh, sold. So I'm going to do grams for this one because I'm going to go ahead and use bronze. So um, my big tree is 7.2 grams. If I wanted to know what that was in troy ounces, I could just push OZT and it says 0 0.230 troy ounces. So I'm done there. Now I need to fix these into, into the base. So I'm going to do that next. So in that last step, uh, I forgot to mention, make sure that you turn off the battery in the scale because it is battery powered only. So we'll go through a million batteries and you'll always be out of batteries on a late night whenever you can't get them. So make sure that you uh, turn it off. So first thing I'm doing is I'm kind of cleaning up these buttons. And you see that uh, I'm over at the solder station, but I laid down a piece of wood that's in the back studio so that I don't get any wax anywhere. And then I'm gonna wanna make sure to use the ventilation. You can also do all of this work with a, an alcohol lamp that has denatured alcohol in it. And you see I'm just using a dental tool. And so I mentioned my first step is kind of cleaning these up. I don't want a huge mound of wax falling down the sides because all of that will come into the investment that I pour into it later. So I really want that to all be nice and cleaned up. I'm going to heat and I'm going to go ahead 
and get a good hole started here. And the other one I actually had to add some sprue wire because it had been um, burned out in a previous firing. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off some of this bottom. Get it nice and molten in there. sit and wait here until it cools a little bit or you need to set something up ahead of time that can kind of hold it up in the air because I did get that so molten okay so this one looks like it's a little bit cooler before I get too far, I do want to check and make sure that I have the top in a way that's going to work. I think I'm going to go ahead and take one of these off. which I'll weigh that and subtract it from my weight. This is the tallest flask that I have, so I do need to account for that. And I'll need a half inch to the top. I run the risk of these at the bottom not coming out very well because the metal is basically going to come in and then immediately take a turn. Okay. So I'm going to set that one aside. So go again. Open up the middle. I'm going to be nice and careful with this one. as well. I'll subtract that blank from my weight and I have rulers but I'll check those at the next step again.